Hello, I'm here to show you a solution to a problem with RetroArc in regards to Android 11 and actually being able to access the SD card so you can scan your ROMs and thumbnail them and everything. A lot of people don't know how to access their SD card if they have Android 11 and since the Android 11 update they've seen their SD card pretty much disappear. Like for example, Every time I load RetroArc, it loads the configuration file from protected storage. That's why I'm telling you, you don't want to use that configuration file. But I'm going to show you this really quick. I want you to go to Import Content, Scan Directory, and look at this. Slash Storage is the folder where you would go to to actually see your SD card. I just clicked it. No SD card. Android 11... No, I want to say RetroArc can't access it because of new scoped permissions with Android 11. Until they update the various emulators out there, you're not going to be able to access your SD card unless you know some type of a workaround, and that's what I'm about to show you. Now, what you need is the name for your SD card to be able to access it. Here, let me close this out. Now if I click on SD card in my normal file manager, it doesn't give me any kind of a label on this card. I tried analyze storage and that didn't really work either. So I downloaded this program, it's called SD card manager. You download this program and click on it. You click the hamburger icon in the upper left corner and click SD card. Right there, I just got the name of my SD card, 6722 37F9. I'm going to try to remember that because I, I need to. Now I'm going to go back to RetroArc and so you're able to control the folder names more you need to go to configuration file and say save new configuration. Now you need to take a text editor on your phone and navigate to the folder that it's in. My personal favorite is old school text editor. You may have your preference about that. You want to Click on, click the hamburger icon here, click on Galaxy S10, scroll down, go to RetroArc, and click on Config. You scroll down this list, and you'll see the config file that you just made. It's the only one in my folder. So I'm going to go down to about where this file ends. You're going to see this thing that says RGUI browser directory equals default. Yeah, we're going to erase default, and we're going to type in slash storage slash 6722-37F9 capital F 9. It's very important to put it the exact way that you saw it in the program. Your drive label is going to be different than mine so you're going to have to download SD card manager to get the label for yours. Now exit this file and the one thing that you've got to make sure that you do is from now on every time you load RetroArc you scroll down to configuration you go to load configuration the first line there and you load that file oops go back there it is right there because every time you load that file you're gonna get the configuration line you just made now you can go to import content and click scan directory and now you see all the ROM folders that I've got on my SD card. Now I'm free to use my SD card as much as I want with an Android 11 tablet or phone. This is the method that I use to work around it. The only thing is, when you quit, it auto-saves your configuration, but every time you load RetroArc, it's going to load the other configuration file that it keeps in protected storage, so make sure that every time you load RetroArc, you load that configuration file. And that's all you need to do to access your SD card on RetroArc. That's pretty much all this video is. I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.